your sports authority with Michael Gross. Well, the Sycamores took on Seton Hall at historic Hinkle Fieldhouse in the NIT championship game tonight. Welcome to Sports. I'm Michael Gross. Indiana State has set out to prove the committee wrong that left them out of the big dance and win tonight's game. And all season long, they've showed out in the big moments. But could they do it when it mattered most? We'll see if they could against the Pirates in front of a packed and historic Hinkle Fieldhouse first half down three. Julian Larry ties it up from deep. Lots of lead changes from top to bottom. We'll skip ahead, though. Sycamore's down by seven. Kadari Richmond on the elbow. Pump fake. Drawing the foul. Burying the jumper. SHU goes up by ten. They don't know who they're messing with. Indiana State battling back. Long outlet pass. One end to the other. Larry again tying it up before the half. 13-3 run. Going into the break, ready to go in the game. Isaiah Swope in transition. Are you kidding? Oh, my gosh. Hit that one from no man's land. Sycamore's up seven with momentum, but SHU tied it up late. Alamir does the kick out, stripes it through, sets up an insane finish. 22 ticks to go. Seton Hall's Dre Davis gets the handoff. The spin and the lay-in to go out in front by two. One last chance for the Sycamores. Ball inbounded to Swope. That three is blocked, and then it's blocked again. It's tipped around. Ryan Conwell rebounds and heaves. No good. Sycamores come up two points short on the NIT championship. Colin Davies was there with some shocking news following the loss. Tonight was supposed to be the night that many Indiana State fans have dreamt about since Selection Sunday, winning an NIT championship in their home state of Indiana in Hinkle Fieldhouse. But they came up just short, 79-77 in a loss to Seton Hall. Former Castle guard and Southern Indiana player Isaiah Swope led the way for the trees, scoring 19 points, but it wasn't enough. Head coach Josh Shirt spoke for the players as they weren't ready to speak to the media tonight and talked about what Swope has meant to this team and what he played through. You know, again, it goes back to a throwback team. That guy's playing with a, a, a piece of loose cartilage floating in his knee, and he's playing with a completely torn lateral meniscus in his left knee. He has a complete tear. And he's been playing with a complete tear since early February. And in the era where, hey, you know, guys are skipping bowl games or not playing the NIT or whatever, like this dude put off surgery to be there for his team. And, and you know, like... That, that's all you know about him. I mean, like, the courage, the toughness. And on that injury, Swope averaged nearly 16 points per game. Up next for Indiana State is uncertainty, as they'll wait for their decision from their head coach, Josh Schertz, on whether he will stay or go, and same with players, whether they hit the transfer portal. Reporting from Hinkle Fieldhouse, I'm Colin Davies, Eyewitness News. A remarkable game and a remarkable way to end a season, though. Uh, the fact that he played through all of that in his knee yeah. and still was able to almost get the win, uh, just unbelievable. That is heartbreaking. Yeah. So hard to watch it, it really it's, again. It's oh, my. All right. Thank you, Michael. We'll be right back.